weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, once again, we are on Weather Watch, and this one, this next batch, well, that arrives overnight, and as we head into early tomorrow morning, the timing couldn't be worse. Obviously, it's going to be between the hours of midnight and 5 a.m. That's going to be the main wave. Should be approaching northwestern portions of the viewing area by midnight, and then should be off towards the east as you wake up. So by daybreak, those storms will be well outside of our viewing area. But the concern is obviously the potential that we could see all types of severe weather, and I think the greatest threat will be damage. Winds. You see, we now sit under a slight risk. That's a two out of five. That's all the yellow here, and that's mainly for east and west Baton Rouge and north of there. The overall threat increases a little bit further north and decreases a little bit further south. However, and I'll show you in future casts, there still is that potential that we could see some outliers, really all of southeastern Louisiana, pretty much under the gun this evening. Here's our exclusive live Viper radar, and you can see the history with this cell. Quite a few severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings just around Ruston and I 20, and this is all driving towards the east. But we kind of watch some of these other pockets developing and separating, and if that's the case, the concern that we could see maybe some rotating storms as the system drives through. Right now, as you take a closer look, we're quite here. We did have a pocket just across the border in southern Mississippi, right around Macomb. That quickly lifted out of there, and I think we're going to stay pretty quiet until that main wave arrives. Watch. As soon as we get into the morning hours between 1 and 2, this is our future track. You see that main line kind of drives through the area, kind of breaking up into more so clusters, and that's going to be more of an issue for us. You can see a heavier pocket here, potential for some large hail, and that's where you could also see maybe even the threat for some rotation. Obviously, we've got a lot of wind shear. Uh, ahead of this system, and that's going to definitely be a concern out there. And you see that we've got the same system ahead of it. A lot of moisture ahead of it, very strong winds out there, a lot of instability. But it quickly moves through, and it should be a narrow band. And by the time we wake up, we'll get back to a little bit of clearing, some short, limited sunshine, because as soon as we move back into the weekend, well, guess what? We've got another round of possible severe weather. So here's the story. Tonight, high winds are greatest threat, but there still is that potential, about a medium chance for isolated tornadoes and large hail, and even some localized flash flooding. Again, the chance for rain could be very heavy at times. Main thing is have multiple ways to receive warnings. Timing's terrible. That's why you need to make sure your cell phone is charged and ready to go, just in case that the power goes out. But make sure the audio is all the way up and on. That way you can hear those alerts and also just download our app. That's the best way to get those alerts during those overnight hours. Here's the week ahead. Obviously, strong storms tonight, but we've got another wave coming late Friday heading into early Saturday. We're already underneath a slight risk. Also, the chance for some heavy rain and severe weather. Really, over the next five days, we could see multiple inches of rainfall. Drier on Sunday, but short-lived because more rain is expected heading into early next week. 78 is your live tower cam. We've got some cloud cover out there. Still very breezy. Winds out of the south at about 18 miles per hour. But here's the other story. Talking about Friday going into Saturday, already underneath a slight risk. And as we get closer, that overall threat could also climb just a little bit. So keep an eye on that if you have some weekend plans. So here's the big picture. This is what we've got going on. We've got this front coming in. Notice ahead of it. Some showers and storms. It's going to be main line that drives in just around midnight or slightly after. That's why we have to watch out very closely. Then it kind of stalls out the tail end. For us, we should see that clearing line pretty much right on top of us, some early clouds, but I think at least dry through late Thursday into early Friday, and then that next wave arrives. You can see another cold front making that punch back into the area, and as that happens, well, it's going to ignite more showers and storms heading into the weekend. Once again, timing is going to be overnight, so Friday night into very early Saturday. Once we get past that front, well, we'll see a little bit of clearing and some dry weather heading into your Saturday. But look at long range here, and this is for the next five days. Just to show you some estimates, about two to five heavier rainfall is expected a little bit further east, maybe one to two, but it's all about those localized pockets that are going to be of greatest concern. So the storms move in just around midnight. Look for some heavy rain at times and some strong gusty winds out there. Please stay alert overnight, and here's that seven-day picture for you. As we move forward, we go from 64 overnight, strong thunderstorms out there. We'll be here to guide you through those storms. We clear. We'll get a break. Thursday going into early Friday, another batch of severe weather Friday night heading into your Saturday. We'll see some sunshine still in the 80s over Sunday. However, more rain by Monday, Tuesday, slightly cooler pattern by Tuesday, Wednesday.